Hello, welcome. So, this is our lesson for today about the measures of central tendency of ungrouped data. Okay, and we have the following objective. The first one is how to find the mean. Okay, the second one is to find the median. And the third one is to find the mode of ungrouped data. Okay, so first we have the mean. Okay, what is mean? The mean is also known as the arithmetic mean. It is the most commonly used measures of central position. And it is used to describe a set of data where the measures cluster or concentrate at a point. As the measures cluster around each other, a single value appears to represent distinctively the typical value. Okay, now let's continue. It is the sum of the measures of x divided by the number n of measures in a variable okay in symbol we have this one um read as x bar okay so this is the formula the x bar equals the summation of x over n okay where summation of x is the sum, uh, sum of the measures and n is the number of values of x these are the definitions of mean okay now we have an example of on how to find the mean okay the grades in geometry of 10 students are 87 84 85 85 86 90 79 82 78 76 what is the average grade of the 10 students now we're going to use this formula the x bar equals the summation of x over n okay so ibig sabihin we're going to add those um grades 87 plus 84 plus 85 plus 85 plus 86 plus 90 plus 79 plus 82 plus 78 plus 76 divided by n which is 10 okay note that n is the number of cases now we have 832 divided by 10 the answer is 83.2 Okay, so hence that the average grade of the 10 students is 83.2. Okay, so now let's move on to the next one which is the median. Okay, what is median? Median is the middle value here or term in a set of data arranged according to size or magnitude. It's either increasing or decreasing. It's called the median. Okay, we have an example number one. The library logbook shows that 58, 60, 54, 35, and 97 books, respectively, were borrowed from Monday to Friday last week. Then find the median. And now this is the solution. We're going to arrange the data in increasing order. Pag sinabing increasing, mula sa mababang number pataas. Then we have 35, 54, 58, 60, 97. Okay? So, we can see from the arranged numbers that the middle value is 58. Okay, then since the middle value is the median, then the median is 58. Okay, now let's have an example number 2. Andrea's scores in 10 quizzes during the first quarter are 8, 7, 6, 10, 9, 5, 9, 6, 10, and 7. Then find the median. Okay, now this is the solution to find the median. Okay, um, we're going to first arrange these scores in increasing order. Okay, now we have this score 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10, 10. Okay, and then we're going to find the middle value. Since the number of measures is even, then the median is the average of the two middle scores. So the two middle scores are um, 7 and 8. Okay, so now we have the median equals 7 plus 8 divided by 2. So, we're going to add the two numbers divided by 2. So, that is 7 plus 8 is 15 divided by 2, 7.5. So, hence the median of the set of scores is 7.5. Okay, now let's move on to the third one which is to find the mode. Okay, the mode is the measure or value which occurs most frequently in a set of data it is the value with the greatest frequency okay yung pinakamaraming bilang ng ng data okay so we have to find the mode or to find the mode 
for a set of data, first select the measure that appears most often in the set. Second, it, if two or more measures appear the same number of times, then each of these value is a mode. Number three, if every measure appears the same number of times, then the set of data has no mode. Okay, let's have this example number one. Okay, so try try answering these items. Find the mode in the set or in the given set of scores. Number one, 10, 12, 9, 10, 13, 11, 10. So the mode here is, okay, 10. Next, let's have number two. 15, 20, 18, 19, 18, 16, 20, 18. The mode here is 18. Next number 3, 5, 8, 7, 9, 6, 8, 5. Okay, our mode here is 5 and 8. Okay, next, let's have number 4, 7, 10, 8, 5, 9, 6, 4. And our mode now here is no mode. Okay, next, number 5, 12, 16, 4, 15, 16, 13, 14. The mode here is 14 and 16. Okay, so that is how to find the mean, the median, in the mode of ungrouped data. Okay, so this time we have the practice exercise and this is our direction. Find the mean, the median, and the mode or modes of each of the following sets of data. So we have four sets of data here. Okay, if you have question clarification, please don't forget to comment it 